Happy week five, guys. Um, so a little update. So last week I went to South Carolina, visited some family. So. <clears throat> that was the docky door. Um, so last week I went and visited family in South Carolina and basically we weren't able to eat like exactly on par of like what we eat normally when we're back home. And so we didn't advance too much. We should be a little bit further along, but family time is so worth it and um, can't complain, you know? So we've got, some, we've got a lot of work to do. Um, it's week five, almost halfway there. And it's time to just get back to it. So, you know, just reminder, you know, like life does happen, things in life do happen. And so if you do have to take some time off, you know, like that's okay, don't stress about it. Just get back right, get back to it, you know? Um, the longer you wait, the harder it's gonna be to get back into it. And so, yeah, that's what we're doing. We are going to have, I'll show you what I get for groceries this week and then I will show you a good chest workout. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the rest of the video. We're starting our week off strong with this grocery haul. We, of course, have some half and half. Gotta have that. And then we have two packs of ground beef, about 3.2 ounces each. And then the stars of the show. Um, we have some New York strips that are bone in. And then this one is a T bone. So good. And then a porterhouse, I believe. Porterhouse. And then another pack of T-bones. So good. I we just went or we just went on a trip to South Carolina and I was like, oh, I missed my steaks. <laughs> so I'm glad we got quite a bit. And then we of course got some organic bananas. We have some sweet potatoes. And then these kiwis, I know I've put them in a previous video. They are so good. If you've had only the green ones um, and you were like, oh, they're okay. Try these ones, they're so much better. They're just, the taste is a little bit different, a little bit more sweet, I think. Um, and I just, I really like it, I like them. Um, and that's about it. That's our awesome grocery haul. So, there we go. Oh, can't forget that. <laughs> so today we're going to be going to the gym. We're going to be hitting some chest and, oh sorry, it's so blurry. And just had to come to the cop shop, get some stuff done. And yeah, then we'll just go to the gym and get a good workout. Alright, see you there. We are starting out this workout with some push-ups. I feel like these just kind of warm up my chest really well, warm up my shoulders, just get my body moving. And I really like doing them. I like to just make sure I keep up with them so that I don't fall behind and then one day I can't do push-ups. So we gotta get out there and we gotta do our push-ups. Let's make girl push-ups into just normal push-ups. Like, let's just make girl push-ups not even non-existent. All right, moving on to a chest fly. Um, you can do these with dumbbells or you can do these with uh, this type of machine, like a pec deck type of machine. Um, I think both are great. I just try to do either one of one or the one or the other in each chest workout. Um, and honestly, the mind muscle connection and just the way that you feel the chest working is pretty great in a fly, I will say. Um, but yeah, these ones you don't need to go super, super heavy, but you do need them to be at a just a moderate weight where you're really feeling it and you're pushing yourself enough, but not putting your shoulder in danger. And again, don't let that be an excuse to not try. We always want to be pushing ourselves, whether that's intensity, that's weight, reps, whatever it is. Just don't let that be an excuse. Moving on to the beloved chest press. We're doing dumbbells today. Um, and then we're just going for, all of ours should be around 8 to 11 reps, or sorry, 7 to 11 reps. And going for about 4, rep, four sets. I will say I have about 2 warm-up sets, maybe 3, just to get me up to my working weight. Um, I just really do that just to really make sure my shoulders are good. Um, I have a little bit of a problem in my right shoulder, so I do not 
take it lightly when it comes to warm-ups. I'm doing bands. I'm doing lighter weight for my warm-up. Um, just make sure you are constantly warming up and prepping your body for the heavier weight that you're going to do or the higher intensity, whatever it is you're doing. Just always make sure you get a good warm-up. And just to kind of let you know, right now, me and my husband are in the rep range of the 7 to 11 reps. Um, we usually kind of go in seasons. So we start out, let's say, 11 to 15, and then the next little season or whatever week range, week range or we just kind of stair step it down. So we've made it to 7 to 11 reps from the um, 11 to 15. And so that's kind of where we're sitting at right now. And then I believe we're going to drop it one more time. And then after that little series of weeks, we're going to then begin to increase our reps again. So this just kind of, we stay in that for whatever it is, a couple, couple weeks, couple months, whatever it is. Well, more than a couple weeks. Um, and we just don't let our body get adapted to that certain range. Or our goal is to lift heavier. Or our goal in the summer is to um, do higher reps, do a little bit more um, plyometrics, a lot more getting into cardio, things like that. Just getting us ready to you know, be able to play outdoors and um, just be able to run around and not be like bulking by any means. So it's kind of how it looks for us. It's how, kind of how we schedule our rep ranges and sets. We find that it works really well for us and each rep range serves different purposes. So depending on your goals, you'll want to be in particular rep ranges or you'll want to have certain intensities or you'll want to be, you know, higher reps or you want your goals to get stronger. So you'll be in lower, lower reps, you know, all the different things to factor in. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. But all that to say, you don't have to do all the exact rep ranges that we have. Just kind of modify that to your goals and your own seasons as well.